showing some of the, my old toys. I've been digging up some boxes. I'm trying to get everything organized in the house. So, uh, show my, some my old toys. And here's my, uh, my garbage pill kids. And some other cards and stuff I had growing up. Of course, show you the garbage pill kids. Show you some of the other cards that I had. Weird ball. Weird ball cards. I don't know if anybody remembers those, but they're pretty cool cards. I mean, if you're, you know, growing up in the mid to late 80s, and you really liked all this gross stuff, a lot of this stuff was pretty controversial at the time, because, you know, we were still, especially where I live in Missouri in the Bible Belt, parents were getting a hold of these, and like, what are my kids buying at the Five and Dime store? Because you'd get these cards, and they just have, like, disgusting stuff on them. Here's a cool card thing that actually you might... Some people might remember the artwork of these guys. It was like Mutant League Sports or something. But it's pretty cool. And I'm sure I've seen this guy's like, whoever did the artwork for this, these cards, I've seen his artwork somewhere else in life. I us get the name of those cards. Hmm. Those are fun. I liked all the gross cars in the 80s. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, a lot of parents didn't like this stuff, so a lot of stuff was kicked out fast. Actually, you know, um, only a few stores didn't actually got these out of their kicked these out of their stores. Like, I don't think you could get them at Toys R Us after a while. Even KB Toys might have, did not carry uh, garbage fill kids. You had to go to like your Spicers, Five and Dime, or a little comic book stores to get them. Here's some ALF cards. I know, what are these? These are Roger Rabbit cards. Who framed Roger Rabbit? I think I have them all. Like, when I started buying these cards, I get, like, the whole series. I just go buy a couple packs and then open them up. Here's some old playing cards. These are kind of funny because they say, they say something on their Hue View effectively reduces eye fatigue by the American Journal of Optometry. So there's how they were improving their cards in, like, the 40s and 50s. They were... What's your idiots? Our cards are better. They reduce your eye fatigue. Hmm. I saw a digital Rubik's Cube at Best Buy the other day. What is this world coming to? It's $89 down from 150 And it's a touchscreen Rubik's Cube like the... Like the iPod. I have a touch and a... It has an internal processor which remembers all like the moves and everything. Yeah, here's my ALF cards. Why did I have ALF cards? See, I don't even remember. This is probably something my mom wanted me to collect. I liked ALF growing up. So she probably like wanted me to collect ALF cards. I probably wanted something a lot more gross. Alright, here's garbage trail kids. Alright, here's up in like the 500s and stuff. Here's, I just got that box, and then my first box here are some of my favorite guys. Like, here's, uh, I got A and B. So here's Double Heather and Schizofran. <laughs> some of these cards are great. Charlotte Webb, and the B side was called Dee Dee. Here's one that I always Slosh Josh. It's a dude in a soda pop bottle. I remember when I was a little kid, I used to have nightmares about, like, getting stuck in a soda pop bottle. Here's one of that. Rocky Horror. Mardi Gras. So, yeah, these are pretty fun to... When we were a kid... These are really fun to collect. Dirty. They never had like drug references in them, I don't think. Well, maybe that one is. He's smoking a joint there. Either that or a rolled up cigarette, which I doubt it. He's reading a book of poems upside down. Hip, kip. Walt Witless. Because <laughs> bongo drums.
That's funny. I love garbage show kids. Yeah, but I got pretty much all of them. There might have been one or two, like the first few ones I don't have. Yeah, see, like most of my first series are in, like even another box, I think. It's here. I only have a few starting at 40. Yeah, there's only one first series here. Dressy Jesse. The rest of my first series are in like a little plastic box in there. Dressy Jesse. God. What is that? What is that? Why did I read this stuff? Why did I like this stuff growing up? Like, here's, like, the clumsy award. They give you, like, awards, and they totally just, like, make fun of you. These cards probably prepared me for the rest of my school years. One-eyed Jack. One-eyed Jack, like, in Twin Peaks. Rap and run. Well, this video's getting kind of long, so... You guys probably remember Garbage Fill Kids, and... Maybe some people's got better collections than I do, like maybe in booklets that you can flip through the pages. I don't know. But uh, if anybody else got garbage filled kit collections, let me see them. And uh, I'll make some videos of what else I find. So I'm going to go uh, finish playing this stupid PS3 game. Alright, see you guys.